everybody, welcome. Vic here with my main man, top trainer Scott Rayleigh. He's the number one user in search triggers, and we are going to show you what's trending now in search triggers. Scott, we're looking at your screen. Yes. How you doing, man? Uh, real quick, want to say hello before I give you guys some value. Say thank you for tuning in to this quick video. Vic is a mentor of mine. Uh, he's somebody that I follow, that I connect with on Skype. Uh, he's an excellent website developer, someone that's always ahead of the technology trend. And uh, it's a real pleasure to uh, be working with you, uh, Vic. It really is. So before we go ahead and continue any further, I just want to let everybody know that if you want to find what's trending in the world today in the United States or around the world, there's a nifty little tool called Google Trends. So you just go to google.com forward slash trends. And in here, you're going to find what books are trending, what dog breeds are trending, you know, politic politics, you know, that kind of stuff. And it'll actually tell you how big the audience is. So if you see over here, obviously the World Cup is huge right now, and that's over a million plus searches. So um, usually you won't see that unless it's a big trending topic. Usually you'll see 100,000, 50,000, but a million, uh, that's a big deal. So we really want to um, give you some value today and uh, talk about you know how to implement the trends in your business and getting creative and uh, allowing that creative side to uh, grow your business. Yeah, and I think one of the things that that a lot of people I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Scott here, but you know, if you're a blogger, if you're writing articles, I mean, you can just write about whatever you want to write about. You don't have to necessarily have it impact your business. You'll get business through your capture page and through your lead follow-up system that you put in. And hopefully, if you're watching this video, you already have that in place. So you can get boatloads of traffic just by being associated with something that's of interest to you. So, so Scott, I was going to show you Search Triggers, the new features, and uh, also give this to all of our subscribers since we haven't we've been dark for a while because we're working, you know, around the clock on getting our new interface together. Absolutely. Is, um, I, it's so I awesome because like, how, one of the things how, I've been working right now is I thought, okay, Scott, go, go, to, go to the search triggers right now. Just open up that tab real quick. I was, you know, when I was going through this, it's okay, so what would I want if search triggers was my home page? In other words, if I set this as my start page, it's the first place I go before I go anywhere else. Uh, just hit the refresh button. This is the new home page, okay? Now let me explain something here. That background image are my actual stats. My blog was getting around 10 visitors a day, and on the right-hand side, it peaked at 1,000 visitors a day. That's 500, and that right there is 1,000, okay? Now, I was just telling someone today, it doesn't really matter if, if I can do that, what matters is if you can do that. You, the person out there using our software, if you can create these kind of results and you can report that back to us, this, this tool is going to go viral quickly. Now, let me explain the interface here. What I wanted was something, because I'm a blogger, I look at both Google and Bing and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I look at all of it, and I need to know what's popular all the time. You know, Google, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, okay? Facebook, I'm reading an article right now about Mark Zuckerberg. Um, in fact, I've got to go meet with the client because I'm helping him with their Facebook PPC campaign. But not to digress too much, what I want to focus on, yeah, you, you love Deep, and I love Deep too, but Deep is a major resource hog, bro. <laughs> 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 All right, but I just want to show you some of the simple features. Uh, let's just type in World Cup for now, okay, and just stick with quick, and you'll see it's really fast, okay? Now, someone asked me the other day, what does Bing rank mean and what does Google rank mean? Basically, Bing rank means um, it's something we made up based on how important at this very second from your browser 
Bing considers that to be a trending topic. Now we get more results from Bing, that's why we prefer it. It actually gives us more data. Google tends to be a lot more educationally focused, whereas Bing is more business oriented. Now click on the Google Rank button, Scott, and you'll see it changes the sort. Now you'll see the pages is all zero, okay? Pages is how many competing pages you have. Now the completely free version, you can set this as your home page, okay? Do a search for anything you're interested in, and then you can click on like the blue dot, click on the blue dot under Groups World Cup Schedule, okay? What it does is it goes to one of my other videos that I have posted. I'm gonna I'm gonna be sharing this with everyone. We're gonna be we're doing a release about the power of in title colon. Okay, in title colon is some new little trick that a lot of people don't know about that if you put in title colon World Cup schedule, it will limit the results to how many people have written about the, that's 180,000 results, guys. So that's how much your competition is, okay? Yeah, but look look, look at what happens when you don't use in title. Just look at that. It's, it's, it's in title now, but it has 180,000, okay, just with in title, which is, which is the accurate amount of results. And then it goes to 224 million. So the in title is crucial that you use that because it will actually show you the real competing pages, not all the stuff that's out there. We're talking about stuff that actually is ranking, right? Exactly. So we built that into the search triggers interface. So all you do is click on the dot. It automatically brings up Google. And in right. the preferences, well, you can specify whether you want that dot to refer to Bing or Google. Cool? Yeah, so as we're looking at these keywords right here, Vic, you know, let me ask you, which one would you write a blog about seeing the data that you're looking at now? If you wanted well, to get ranked, which one would you go for? I mean, do you look at the numbers? What would, what would you what would be your best guess if you wanted well, to blog about? Well, using the completely about? free tool without the pages. Now, the other thing is the pages goes, you know, let me ask you the question. Um just with the free Let's just go with the free version for now, yeah. and then we'll go to the paid version after that. And why why it's it's a value to actually get that number. Um, what I typically go is I look at the Google rank and I say, okay, so World Cup schedule is what's you know, Google has about four times the traffic of Bing. And so you figure, okay, Google considers the schedule to be important. Now click on Bing. Okay. See what I like about Bing is it's really specific. World Cup 2014 schedule. You see? Now click on the dot there. Click on the dot. Only 78,000 results. You see how we cut the number in half just by adding the number 2014? Now, why is that important? Well, because you're still going to get ranked even if you omit the 24, but you'll get some traffic. That's what I call search engine engagement. You gotta get some traffic or else there's no way you can scale your traffic. If you if you like write a blog post and you're not specific enough, in other words, you're not niched, you're not gonna get any traffic. Okay, because you're gonna be like, you know, on page like gazillion. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. what I would do is I would go with World Cup 2014 schedule, go back to search triggers. and click on it. Click on that link and you'll see it fills it in above. And then now just click the button again. Okay, and then I again look, printable. That's a niche. So let's say you wanted to just write, the, the big trend right now, I was talking with a friend of mine uh, who's, who, who's also a blogger and, and she was saying, you know, what caught my eye was she was she put something on Facebook and I was in the middle of working on a fan club page that I was working on and her her post caught my eye out of the corner of my eye and it was a red cardinal. And I thought, wow, it's the bird. It's this red cardinal bird just got my eye, just got my attention. And, and, and Scott, you and I should work on a t-shirt, by the way, about a red cardinal because that would be so cool. But anyway, mm -hmm. I, 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 look at that. What she was saying is, 
shifting the focus to helping people and not so much about business opportunities. You know, just helping people. So I would go, Scott, with schedule printable or PDF. You see, that's what a lot of people are looking for. Now, if you click on Google Rank, you'll see they're really specific. A lot of people are looking for PDF. Mm -hmm. Okay, but a lot of people are looking for the for the you know printable. It doesn't show up in Google, but it does show up in Bing. You see that? Mm -hmm. So if you were to write a blog post, let's just you know let's just for for fun click on the dot under uh, schedule PDF. 73 results guys now supposing you do this and you put up the schedule and you could do this just by going to their other thing and just linking to it and writing a few words and saying here's what I'm gonna be watching right and mm -hmm. then you link to the actual PDF you're only competing against a small number of people most of them are like you know productreviews.net tumblr.com see that what do you think? Is that pretty gangster? Mm-hmm. So that's what I would do. 